So, so uh, Pete, what do you think? Uh, um, the the uh, can you talk about lust and yearning for others when in a marriage? That's that's object A again. Yeah. In mm. in 140 characters less, here it is. One's lust is not the problem; it's the solution to a problem. Ah! So, wow. Yeah. Damn, I'm not even going to read my answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? Uh, here's my pithy answer. It's just, it's real simple. Honest communication creates lasting relationships. And what I mean by that is, you know what? If you want to talk about lust and you want to talk about other people that you are attracted to, talk about them with your partner. Yeah, yeah. Bex I mean, and I like, will often, like, we'll, we'll check out people together. I love it, dude. Mariah and I, like, I mean, we're very open with it. Yeah. I mean, I'm a little bit more open than she is, but... <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it creates it creates a lot more trust between us and a, a lot stronger bond where she can be like, were you just looking at that girl's butt? And I'm like, yeah, I got eyes. I use them. <laughs> and it's, it makes a nice little moment for us. Like, it's not, it's not anything that... Uh, that we can't handle as as a mature couple. Because the, the alternative is what? Repression? Yeah, yeah. So that's the issue. If it becomes very secretive, then it becomes even more desirous. And then, and here's the funny thing about, this, about lust as a desire, is that, and we don't see this, we don't feel it, but I think we kind of know it's true, is the more, like, you, 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 I'm a romantic, right? A romantic is someone who'll kill a kid just to have sex with a person, right? So I am a hopeless romantic, right? And, you know, they will kill an orphanage full of kids just to have one night with the person How many they kids love. have you killed, Pete? <laughs> they will kill a world full of kids, right? Yeah, Let's so. just be clear. Killing the kids to have sex with an adult, right? right. Yes, that's yeah. right. Yes, that's right. Yes. Very that, important. That doesn't make it much better. To be <laughs> I like the fact that that makes it, in your head, hey, perfectly that's acceptable. That's about my morals there. <laughs> right. That's, yeah. that's your moral compass. Like he's killing a lot of kids, but it is an adult. He's having sex. Right. right. <laughs> but um, so, th but that is the kind of the hopeless romantic in a very mm. negative sense is mm. you'll do anything. You'll cut off your arm to be with the person. Mm. Um, but the idea being that then when you're with them, the, the letdown is huge, right? That the more that you have to do, the more the obstacle the the more the desire and then the more the letdown so lust functions in a very difficult way that so for example somebody's like i just will i'll leave my wife and my kids and i'll leave everything my job i'll give up all my money i'll give up everything to be with you and then the person says yes and then three months uh -oh. later, yeah, 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 that's the problem. That's the term. It's like, you should oh. not have killed all those kids. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That was a bit of a disaster. Can I take that back? You know, that is, that's the ultimate letdown. Mm. So when you're honest about your desires with another person and you can at least take the edge off the, the, the lust, you know, so it's, uh, yeah. yeah. I, love it. <laughs> I, I think, I think the thing there is we'll, we'll, we'll wrap up the segment on, on this, but uh, with the when you said the lust isn't the problem when you get the the other person or whatever you end up being the problem not your not the the thing that you got because you had a, a different sort of expectation you had an expectation in your mind that once I get this thing I will be complete or I'll be better or I'll have what I want or my all of my desires yes. will be met and what a poor expectation that yes. is because yeah. here's a trick I'm sorry I know it has to be quick and not very like lightning round but the the problem with romantic relationships for most of us is problems of desire. Like whenever people lust yeah. after somebody else, and it's always how do we manage? How do we keep our desire alive? How do we manage our desire? How do we make it productive? So whenever someone wants to have an affair, or has an affair, when there's lust, usually when I say it's a solution to a problem, it's the problem of desire. There's a there's a deadlock in desire in the relationship, and this is a frantic attempt to fix that, but it's a bad attempt. Like it doesn't work, it causes pain. Mm -hmm. So always when I see things like like um, affairs and lust, I'm asking what is that trying to solve? Where is the deadlock of desire in the relationship? And you have to solve that. Yeah.